Welcome to another episode of Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we'll bring to you and analyze the biggest sentiment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my co anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Olu Oshoke. Wagwan, well, it's hey. good. It's popping. Do do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, savage vibe, innit? Mm. Thanks. Ah, okay, let I me mean, not talk too much. She won't start blushing. <laughs> but uh, BB Niger, that's where we're starting from. Twitter reacts as Via Neo emerged um, second and third finalist. Um, mm. This lady was the first year, Nengi. Mm. Yeah. Because she won head of house. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm not... from what I'm seeing, I think there was a lot of strategizing. Yes. Right? Did you? Okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't watch it, but I've been reading up on it. Oh, my God. What happened? Tell us. I mean, the whole thing was just a wow. I don't, I'm not a big fan of both of them. At all. At all. But this one, no one can take you away from it. They worked together. Like, when you say somebody has got your back, these two people have got each other's backs. And that's the kind of team I want. I don't know what... It looked like magic that they would be able to actually talk their way out of... Talk their way out of making sure the other people don't vote... Um, so how you did know, they do that? Because I, I thought they were not allowed to have conversations regarding who they are voting so and, they made or team. nominating. They did, a, they did a team, mm -hmm. a team job where, and it got divided, right? So they're obviously on separate teams. And then the three of you in that team are supposed to come up with two people that you want to nominate from the other group. Mm -hmm. So basically we have to come together to make a decision, right? Ah. Yes. So now the first thing, Trikiti and Lekon were already saying, uh, Neil is going to be up for eviction because uh, um, Trikiti was saying that he has a fairer chance of of um if then because you know they're going to yeah they know they're going mm -hmm. to um thing in him I don't know but I don't know he then just got weak about it because one of them wanted to uh, um, um nominate Dorothy because they like Dorothy but for some reason I don't know what she was just saying she was just talking that no he's not he's not strong he's not this he's not anyway they worked well for each other and they got in, into the finals. the finals. I like the fact that you picked on the fact that it was teamwork for the both of them. But as a matter of fact, a lot of people say um, they're, they're behaving or they behave like husband and wife because mm. um, they did almost everything together. But I think that's what you get when you start fighting over food and very petty things. And then, yes, obviously, you learn. There was a kiss I saw posted on okay. Instagram. Okay, can I talk about that, that kiss? That was weird, gross. It, it was yeah. like it was strange. Weird. I mean, it was cute. Was I mean, it was cute for them and yeah, their fans. Yeah. But Logan, what's happening? Please bring back Kid, kid and Eric. It felt up. very like robotic. And the sound, <laughs> it became like a sound. Oh, there was a sound? Like, there was a wow. wow. You guys should calm mm -hmm. down, man. These people are just in love. They're just what? They're just, they're, just they're, just, they're just in love. But uh, I, I, I like. So when you're in love, you don't know how to kiss. I felt like it's that's their own way of kissing. Like, now, do you know that's their fetish? Yeah, no, it, it, it just stood like they just stood like they're like you know. Just, yeah, it was just it was not. It didn't move. It there was no emotion. Was that's what you guys expected more emotion. I feel like right? there was emotion to it because V has always. I mean, she. I'm not sure to kiss her so for a think, long time. You think uh, V has emotions in her? That girl, I feel like that's her emotion. I don't that's, know. That's it's a, it's a weird vibe, but that's nah. that's her. her well, thing. well, I'm happy for the both of them because mm -hmm. um yeah, I like I like V personally. I think she's a vibe. You know, she can mm. go from giving you that local sure, girl sure. to mm. you know being that, In that UK area. Girl. Yeah, she's a vibe. Yeah, she's but a, the things she, that come out of the she, mouth. Is yeah, she's vibe. a complete vibe. Like, but I, I really don't like I don't yeah. like her mentality, so to say, yeah, because I think like she still has this type of um superstitious kind of. She does have that. Yeah. She also yeah, doesn't know. let things go. Mm -hmm. And I feel like because she's really good with words, she can be pretentious. I know for a fact that she didn't care that much about Leko and that Erica thing. She just didn't like the Erica babe, full stop. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. she was making it look like, oh, Leko is my guy. I don't know if you saw... I don't, I don't know. I don't know when Leko was... When they, she was talking to Leko, when they, I saw this um, during the Sunday eviction, when they were asking Leko, when she was speaking to Leko, and Leko was like, I just don't like the fact that she's there. She's like, hey, yeah. Uh, I bet we're all responsible yeah, for we'll action. So you know, I'm not, yeah. I'm like, I like people like that because obviously she knows that Eric, Erica is out of the house mm. now and she's seeing all of this thing. So but she's not trying hard it. to Why kiss like, anyone. Hold on. I like that she's real. But that realness is also bringing out the bitter side of her, which I do not appreciate. I appreciate but, but, being but, real, but, but, but you can let things go. You don't need to be like, a crap person, right? You don't need you know to you're like real. someone to wish them well or yeah. to have empathy for them. And that's what she what, what, what I liked about it is the, the fact that she knows Erica is saying it. A lot of people are saying things about 
You see, I don't understand mate. how you want to congratulate someone for being mean. Because you're capable of being... Okay, we can't use that word on TV. I'm not going to congratulate you. A bomb does not mean that we should, come back, we should be like, oh, yeah, you're bomb, real, you're real no, about you're, that. You're, like, you're, missing, hey. you're missing And the everyone keeps... Uh, VP fans keep saying that, well, Erica would have done the same thing too. It, because one person... Two wrongs don't even make it right. We're talking about V now. And we're saying you don't need to emphasize on how much you of a... Like this person. Yes, and how much of a mean person you can be. Because they're not afraid of telling anybody who you are. Who you well, are well, could be. I think I think everybody is all on the same page about how Erica could have handled things better, right? Yeah, mm -hmm, exactly. So she just stated the obvious. She stated what what is in my but heart. Okay, and have you, have you heard where Lekos said he wish he had done things better? Yeah, because that was doing his diary like, session. Oh, okay, so why would Lekon, a Lekon, I mean, that, that owns the owns the issue. I'm not telling you. No, I've never been a Stan Lekon. Okay, maybe we need to move on. Let's not dwell too much on this one. Lekon, really. Mm -hmm. I, I defend them when I have to, mm. but see, I'm not Usha like... is not Lekon, really. Is he a piece of skin that he cannot support? Me? I no, don't understand. Say, no, no, when you say I stand Lekon, there are other people that... If you say who do you stand... Who do you stand? Oh, right, it's oh, V. Uh, it's V. You're talking too no, much again. Oh, yeah, who? In the house? Stan, uh, Stan. That's a very strong word, wait, you know. Okay, who, who do, do you, I like? Who do you need one leg in, one leg out? Who are you? Who do you like? Okay, if I, right if, now, if, if I wanted anyone to win, Big Brother would have been Kid Wire. He's gone. They're saying the house. In the yeah. house presently, yeah. Trickety. Okay, yeah, you've been saying that a lot. Trickety. Actually. Okay, moving well, on. Still on Big down. Brother Niger anyway. I hope, mm. I, hope, I hope not. There are a few crossover artists worldwide, um, says Nollywood actress Ada Kao, as she comments on side talks about people in Nollywood being scared of Big Brother Niger stars taking over Nollywood. She dares all to mention any Big Brother Niger or Africa star that has taken over Nollywood since inception. <laughs> well, I think this takes us back Make to sure the, it's. I think this takes us back to the parts where uh, we keep saying that a lot of movie directors and producers should put in into put a lot of work into people that are actually professionals and not because of um, social media influence or because you're a reality star and all of that and then you're putting them into your movie. So a lot of people started this conversation off the back of that, right? So you should say people should mention, I don't know the people that are scared, but whoever started it should probably she's come out to mention. She's not saying mention people that are scared. She's saying she's the inception of Big Brother Nigeria or Big Brother Africa that which of the housemates have actually come into Nollywood and has taken over Nollywood that should make them be scared of the stars mm. that are coming out of Big Not Brother taking Niger. over, but a few of them are doing well. I think Bam like, Bam is doing well. In Nollywood. And, yeah. In I mean, Nollywood. Bam Bam is not doing well. How many movies has she actually I've never, watched, I've never watched, watched any. Ever. Well, oh, Toby, 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 Toby Barkre is, is not the doing best bad. Name. Yeah, I mean. Toby Barkre is not doing getting, bad. Yeah. Yeah. T-Boss too has done one or two. I'm not saying that they're taking over Nollywood. But that's the question. No, no, but no big no reality star is going to take Period. over Nollywood. That's what she's saying. That's what no she said. I just don't know why you are so ginger to write it and then even upload it on your Instagram chat for me. That mm. was a bit... Maybe she's scared. I like it was a bit... I don't know why the conversation came up even the when this lady it. talked about it. Is it... What's the name of this director that Uti. said something? No, a lady. She no, I'm said talking about Uti is one of them too. Okay, it's in the actor, uh, yeah. she, I think she has moved away from acting a bit and Super concentrated presenting. on his um, um, media personality thing. And he does a lot in that area as well. But there's a lady that actually came out to spoke. I said to spoke. Yes. Hey, okay. Baz, <laughs> to speak, <laughs> yeah. And she, we talked about it on Tea Time. And wh what she was saying almost felt like she was coming from a place of um, jealousy and fear. And like, okay, yeah, I remember. I can't remember his, her name, but she was saying that the show was up to no good and that people are paying too much attention on Big Brother Nigeria when they're supposed to pay attention Lala, to... Lala, Lala something. I think Lala she was the one. Thing, yeah. So yeah. that that felt like it came from a place of fear and I think that was when that conversation started and I'm like, why are you attacking why... these people? Because it's an arm of entertainment as well. I mean, Which is why I started caption, going. This lady's caption um, spoke a bit better where she was saying that there's different kinds, aspects of relevance. Mm -hmm. I, I do think it is a bit, not threatening, but intimidating how fast... And how far Big Brother takes you. I don't mm -hmm. think I, I don't know any other show that does that. I don't know any other movie that has done that. That is one movie, and then you just in Nigeria, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. like that. It's verified. We're all following, and every single person, whether they watch your show or not, knows your name. Mm. Uh, for me, that that is something. But 
to then write about it, put it on your Instagram, it's just like a bit much. No, it's a conversation that I shouldn't have passed her IG story personally. But she didn't say anything wrong. I, I agree. Mm -hmm. I'm, my point is, um, this conversation wouldn't even start, right, if a lot of movie directors and producers are actually focusing on the talent, the people that actually deserve uh, but it. But she's saying that's not what's happening. But, no, I get it. I'm just saying that people are saying this now because or people are saying that, oh, maybe they are scared because a lot of them are succeeding in Nollywood industry if because... They, where? Who, who, are, are, who they? are they? Who are they? Who are people succeeding? So you guys are telling me that they don't pick a lot of... I'm not even talking about... Okay, let's, 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 let's put Big Brother aside now. Let's put Big Brother aside. Let's focus on um, social media acts, right? right? Such as the likes of um, Brother on. Shaggy, yeah. uh, um, and the likes that are in movies. I don't know why you're trying to make that. this conversation wider than it's supposed to be. Like, a conversation because, is because here. You want to go like this. We're talking no, about Big Brother and Ninja Spies. It's wider than just Big Brother. Well, no, no, it's not. To say, you're trying to say that these people are actually doing well in the movie scene, so she's they're wrong. They're not doing badly, but they are not taking over Nollywood. That is a wrong Okay. Um, yeah, that concept. means you agree with what she's saying. No, of course I agree. I'm just right. saying that, but this conversation wouldn't even start if we're not using a lot of reality stars or social media I don't think influencers. We're using I don't think we are like, yeah, like, yeah, they're taking yeah, over. But anyway, yeah. tea time continues right after this short break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide that every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Right oh, yeah. Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling alright. Still make music and people are still by. Some say they look myself minimal. Are you? I call music for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? Sleeping early. Okay, welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Um, the question still remains that we're expecting the release of Made in Lagos soon, and of course, that goes to um, Whiskey um he dropped a teaser or is it snippet mm. on his instagram page um he's giving me a vibe like a cool one i feel yeah. i feel like he's trying to do beyonce on us mm. um i don't know if i'm capping right now but i feel like he probably wants to have like a video album and this is what the vibe is giving me i hope he can pull that off because he has he has stayed too long mm. um not to give us something that would blow our mind so if he yeah. does that i would be extremely happy but if not um, we still wait this project. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I've, I've seen, um, I think we've seen a snippet of um, a Made in Lagos before, and this is not the first one that we're seeing. And um, <laughs> on <laughs> the truth is, is when your stand are... cannot stand you again, it's like, it's like, it's like, um, I saw, I saw something that um, a popular music journalist wrote, which is Joy Akan. He said, a whiskey now is like a uh, an Arsenal transfer until they actually see the player on the Arsenal jersey and on the pitch playing, mm -hmm. right? They mm -hmm. don't believe in the transfer. Mm -hmm. So until whiskey that time, until I can see where I can buy this album mm -hmm. or I can download it. How, how am I or, even more optimistic or, than you are, fam? Like, I because, don't understand. Because, no, I know, I know he's working on greatness. Word and on great, the street. Let me, use, let me use the media word. They say word on the streets is yeah. that it's coming out in October. Twins, good things, twins. good things take time. I understand oh, where whiskey is coming from. So I just I, give you small food like this. You're I, in June, I, know, I, know, I know, I know, I know, I know. He's working on something great. I know it's not going to be your regular album. It's probably going to be twice as tall. So at the end, <laughs> so at the end of well, the day, he is the height though. So yeah, it's cool. Whoa, okay. <laughs> I didn't see that one. No, in it's, it's the album is probably going to be twice as tall. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the album. But until I see this album drop, even though I'm a big Whiskey fan, I don't want to see anything. To be honest with this. you, I'm with you on that one. To, um, I'm not I'm not even a big Whiskey fan. I think I used to be, and I'm waiting for that Whiskey. I mentioned this on the table so many times. I'm waiting for that Whiskey to come. Hopefully, Made in Lagos actually gives me lyrics because I am not about this fan. He's a sound man. Ah, Bangalore repeating, you. repeating, repeating hmm. vibes. He's um, a sound man. Hmm. Uh, Sha, when he drops his thing... But he gave you lyrics, he smiled, didn't he? He 
You sure did. Exactly. So I'm hoping for more. I thought you just said it's a salmon. If you choose which battle, you it's a salmon, but you choose one. He's <laughs> more of a sound <laughs> man, but of course, well, sometimes he, we, he know, has lyrics, we right? know that this, that's greatness for you. At least it's Baba Boju. <laughs> you <laughs> shall like it. Anyway, I'm really impressed by these visuals. For me, it made it, it made me um, feel comfortable that he wasn't necessarily being lazy. At first, I was hearing that maybe this guy isn't just putting a lot of work and he's gone hmm. comfortable. No. And then hmm. I heard what that I heard he was feeling he's, he's, he's a perfectionist. Yes, so I felt that one. Person album and he feels like nah my album is not well. going to be this yes. and it goes back to the studio. Yes. So, so I heard working. all those things. I'm not his yeah. best friend. I don't live in this house. I don't have his WhatsApp number. But <laughs> for me, this for me now really made me feel more comfortable believing the latter that yeah. okay he is putting a lot of work in and um, honestly this this um, teaser gave me joy because there was a lot of um, level of um, details into mm -hmm. it. The vibe like you mentioned yeah. was really cool. Fair. So I'm ho I, but I'm with you if I want to hear the song. The let me songs. give you insight. Released. Let, yeah, me, let me give you published. insight. Yeah, yeah. I heard I from Made in Lagos over 400 songs were streamlined to the number of tracks you will see on it. Mm. So that's how much mm. work we see. It is not about us. Okay, I've heard. heard. Let me just, you know what I'll tell him? I'm going to give the popular slogan, fam. Just do it. Maybe mm. you're procrastinating or you think you're not perfect enough. You've not done it well. Just do it. We will yeah. still love you. Even if you give us Actually, sound without even, lyrics. Or you give us lyrics without sound. Or you give us both. Fam. If you even do more, we'll we'll still stream your music. I mean, it's whiskey. It fam. is whiskey. Yeah, it's so whiskey. Mm -hmm. Ride with that. Yeah. Try as a stone. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Moving on, Hollywood actor John Boyega has stepped down from his role as a global ambassador for a perfume brand after the company hired a Chinese actor to replace him in an ad he created without his concept or um, prior notice. The original ad starring Boyega aired last year and was called um, Quote the London Gent. It features Boyega walking around the neighborhood where he grew up, riding a horse in a park, and makes reference to his Nigerian heritage in a scene featuring West African attire. So he says that's really personal for him. Now, the British perfume brand has said that replacing Boyega with the Chinese star in the ad campaign was a misstep. Um, it has removed the ad and apologized. Um, I like the fact that they accepted the wrong and um, they apologized. And um, like we say about racism, it's still there. In as much as you want to see, it's still there. You know, they make it look like it's not there anymore, but we see these things manifest themselves indirectly, most, and sometimes directly, but most times indirectly on a daily basis, especially with the black community. Mm. We, 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 I think we are the majority who suffers at the most because why would you have put an ad and then because it's going to China, you take it out. Like it doesn't, um. and uh, Star Wars um, 2 as well, when they put the poster out in same China, they removed the black cast yeah. in the poster yeah. and put only the white people. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So and this is the same there. China that has a whole tribe mm -hmm. of people that appropriate the most populated no. country in the world. No, <laughs> that, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> that, that appropriate a lot of black culture. They mm. wear braids and they do all of that type of stuff. I saw mm. the story. I know you're going to cut off my head, so let me okay. see what I ask my question before you land. Okay. So, I, I don't want to go to the Star Wars side because that one is debatable. I don't know why they would do that. That's mm. really... Okay, it's not debatable. That's the word. That's totally unhelpful and unnecessary because it's a movie at the end of the day, yeah? Mm -hmm. But this particular one, I think from his tone, yes, of course, Boyega will always be upfront when he's talking about um, injustice in any mm. form, whether racial mm. or however you want to look at it or cultural bias or whatever, yeah? But um, don't you think the real problem from him that I got from his tweet is the fact that he was not contacted? He wasn't spoken to about it especially knowing that that is a story about him now if they are going to remake it based on the fact that okay this product is going to this region and we feel like um yeah, we need somebody there to, to represent the brand so that we can make sales um it's still something that could be done but he could have been carried along or maybe after carrying him along they can now tweak the story to fit the person's story as well instead of carrying my life and placing someone on that life do you get what i'm saying don't you think that's where the problem really is well i mean that's part of the problem but okay. it's not the only problem I, th I think the idea okay think about it if it was Let's give a good name. What Thor? What's his name? Chris ha Chris Hem Hemsworth. Hemsworth who mm -hmm. did this, right? Mm -hmm. He's not Asian at all, and he does something about his life. And he's originally from Australia, mm. and Australians have 
quite cultural roots and stuff. They don't act Western. They have mm -hmm. their own culture. And then he puts his aspect mm -hmm. of the, his own culture in there and his friends and family or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure we would not be having this conversation. And that would have been enough, even though it was clearly mm -hmm. different. Mm -hmm. And it would have been enough for the um, Chinese the brand. Uh, yeah. brand. Okay. So what is the problem with our blackness Thank that you. cannot sell Another. in Asia? Mm -hmm. And that's what we need to look at. The, the, the constant reminder that we need to eradicate our blackness is a problem. And that's what we're talking about with ladies with, um, um, hi, what's her name? Adele wearing cornrows and things like that. It's the little things. It's that everybody else can do it. Mm -hmm. okay. But then when a black person does it, it's too it's black and okay. it won't sell. So that conversation needs to be done in China. There is quite a, a lot, lot of, of black people in China. There mm -hmm. is a quite, even, even, Ch even the Chinese <laughs> dark skins that nobody seems to talk about because they don't even make it to the media. That's how much white has perpetuated the globe. There's even dark skinned people who, ca they, they cannot tell me that that, that, that um, what's it called, that advert would not be able to sell. And if it doesn't sell, it's because you are perpetuating well. racism. Yeah. And, and then, that, it's a problem. maybe I would have agreed to your argument if it was another It wasn't an argument, it was a question. Okay, yeah, maybe I would have agreed, say, yes, maybe I would have agreed to, to your it. question yeah. or agreed to your um, um, suggestion on this one if the product wasn't the perfume. Mm. The perfume is universal. Mm. Whether you're black, whether you're white, whether that's you're a, Asian, do you understand? So it mm. is a universal product that anyone can sell. Mm. It's a smell. And mm. also the fact that, like you mentioned, the fact that they didn't even bring it up to him, yeah. you could tell that there was it, it was about, not from a good place. Wrong, yeah. If it was really about that, which, to be honest, to an large extent, makes sense that mm -hmm. you can tweak an advert. If they had good intentions, if it wasn't driven by racism, I feel like they would have involved him in it. How Definitely, could we help yeah. um, sell this brand to um, the Asian community not without not Surely when you necessarily call him your taking global out global ambassador. ambassador? You can. Yeah. You don't have to. You don't have to take global. out the other person. You could have added more things to help. You know, make the 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 market more acceptable to that brand or even have a conversation with him and bring somebody in yeah. it doesn't have to be just him i mean i don't know but um I'm, I, I love the vibe that john boyega brings to the table any day anytime yeah. he's ready to call anyone's bluff and when he does this some people will always whisper and say oh this guy is going to murder his career and all but there is something we have not acknowledged yet which is the power of social media mm. and how it's helping a lot of people be able to face even strong structures yeah. and glass walls and yeah. still come out unskated and and I think that is something we need to begin to appreciate I, as I, well. I, I think I also like how it's protecting people mm -hmm. nowadays. Usually, if there wasn't social media, it's very easy to boycott people. Yeah. We've had them in the past before. People like Boyega, but no one has known. And we didn't know that we need they needed our support. Mm -hmm. But now, I feel like anyone who even dares to let this guy go because he's talking too much yeah. will be in so much trouble because yeah. of the backlash yeah. we will give them. So, yeah. so cool. Good, good yeah. time to be alive, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. And that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Please do send your opinions via WhatsApp to 090 6000 719 or Twitter at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Also, watch Tea Time on R2 TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always go to my interesting co anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Olu yes, sir. and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa Tea Time. My name remains Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe.